Hello everyone. Last session we stopped this problem at here. In this session we will complete this problem. Here the problem is he given the finite poles. Then he asked to draw the border plot. So that's why we are converting into the a format that is 1, 1 plus s by 1 plus s tau format. Okay. So whenever the finite poles are given first you, you should do the you should consider and you should do one thing that is it's not square actually that is just you look at the first you find out the corner frequencies first you look at the corner frequencies so corner frequencies corner frequencies is nothing but that frequency only the slope will be varied so here initially here there is a corner frequency there is no corner frequency for, this is the constant constant thing and this is there is no corner frequency so you can take omega equal 0 corner frequency and here if you are consider this is the tau 1 and we have 1 plus s by s into tau is there generally here the tau is 1 by 2 that's why corner frequency equal to 2 and next is here the tau equal 1 by 5 tau equal to 1 by 5 from this we can write corner frequency equal to 5 here the tau equal 1 by 10 1 by 10 from this we can write the corner frequency equal to 10 so we have this number of corner frequencies this number of corner frequencies okay from this so always you should consider the initial frequency equal to some point one you should keep in your mind you should take the point one first so before that just you find out the magnitudes then it will be very very easy for you okay then it will be very very easy for you so we have first you take this you take the dc gain k first you take the dc gain k here the dc gain k equal to 10 you should find out the magnitude for this k 20 log base 10 and the base 10 so not 10 here you should consider the k value this so 20 lag k is 25 by 2 in place of 10 just it is the 25 by 2 so by doing the calculation we will get the magnitude value equal to 22 db per decade 22 db per decade okay this is the for the dc gain only next we don't know where we should start the magnitude so that's why you should take first you consider the pole at origin the next step is you should take we have pole at origin only pole at origin only look at here this is the pole at origin for this you should take the magnitude and the magnitude equal generally 20 log 1 by 20 log 1 by omega this is the magnitude generally right so by using this we will get 20 log omega power minus 1 and if you take in db's magnitude in db we will get magnitude in db but we we have to take a frequency initial frequency assume as the point one 20 lag 20 lag and uh, point one whole power minus one so we will get we should do the calculation we will get 20 db 20 db okay so we, we are getting two things the one first thing is the we are getting the two things so it initially it's initially you should consider the slope and you will you will consider the each and everything so first you ask you to draw the go for the magnitude plot directly okay so take it some magnitude plot 
magnitude magnitude always in db magnitude always in db right this is the magnitude in decibels and initially take omega equal to 0.1 first thing and how many corner frequencies we have we have corner frequencies omega equal 0.1 after that where somewhere we have the omega equal to 1 and after that we have the corner frequency omega equal to 2 so here the omega equal to 2 and next omega equal to 5 omega equal to 5 next omega equal to 10 omega equal to is there so omega equal to 5 somewhere far better to take omega equal to 5 here because we have some modifications omega equal 10 means it is a long distance somewhere here this is the omega equal to 10 okay so initially at omega equal 0.1 what is the magnitude here omega equal 0.1 we have pole at 0 this is the that is the 20 db so we have some value here for example this is the for example this is the 20 db 20 db okay and we have what is the slope slope is generally after that after that omega equal to we have one pole omega equal to we have one pole okay and omega equal one it will become zero generally anything you should take it will become the zero anything you have to take it as zero and at omega equal to two at omega equal to 2 look at here here omega equal to 2 we have one pole one pole so one pole means we have minus 20 dbd so it may be some we have some magnitude is somewhere here we will get somewhere some magnitude up to this we have some magnitude why we are taking this we don't know the magnitude value it will start from here and it will reach zero after that it will reach omega equal to some value this is minus 20 db per decade only so it will follow the minus so minus so it will take the minus 20 db per decade so this take the slope is minus 20 db per decade why minus 20 db initially we have s is there after that s by 2 is there this is the first frequency we will get right and after that omega equal to 5 omega equal to 2 okay after that at omega equal to 2 And after that it will reach omega equal to 5 and look at here at, at omega equal to 5 it will reach the omega equal to 5 by positive db positive db okay so it will become the positive 20 db per decade minus 20 db per decade okay omega it will reach minus so it corner frequency omega equal to and again it is travels from look at here at omega equal to 2 at omega equal to it is the pole that's why it is again minus 20 db per decade and it will reach and it will reach up to omega equal to 5 up to omega equal to 5 this is also the minus 
20 dB per decade. But at omega equal to 5, look at here. At omega equal 5, we have the two zeros. Two zeros means 20 plus 20. 40 dB will be added. 40 dB will be added. 40 dB will be added. So up to 10. So 40 dB will be added. So this is the up to 10. This is the up to 10. So after that, after that, at 10, we have the one pole. That means we have minus 20 dB again. That's why it will become negative side. So after that, it will become so 20 20 here 20 is there actually this is 20 is there slope will be varied actually look at here so this slope is become 20 plus 20 double the slope will become at omega equal to actually it will become minus 20 d for a decade slope will be slope will be varied like this so minus 20 so minus 20 minus 20 it will become 40 db for decade so it will be like this because already at at this it, is, it will come from the 20 at omega equal to another 20 will be added that's that's why minus 40 db it, it will reach omega equal 5 it will add it plus 40 it will add it plus 40 that's why we have path is like this after that at omega equal 10 plus 20 db will be added plus 20 db will be added okay so this is the plus 20 db plus 20 minus 20 this is the 0 db but if you observe here initially we are missing the dc gain this value every time 22 db per decade will be added 22 db decade means somewhere here so change the pen so here maybe 22 db per decade will be added so then the pole is like this after that the pole is like this after that the path is like this. after that the path is like this so path will be follow this path it will be up to this it will be plus 20 db after that again 20, another 20 db will be added after that 40 db will be added after that it will be increases it will be increases so this is the path to draw okay don't forget this is minus 20 db for decade is there and this is minus 40 db for decade is there and this is the plus 40 db for decade is there and this is the plus 20 db per decade per decade okay so that's why this is very very lengthy problem first you should modify in this form then you recognize the corner frequencies okay and omega equal 0 0.1 omega equal to 1 omega equal 0 like that okay omega equal 0 0.1 so these are the corner frequencies based on this you can continue the problem Okay, I hope all of you understand this session. Thank you.